I'm Sean Lockyer. My practice is Sean Lockyer Architects. We're sitting in Sydney right now in Taylor's Bay in Mossman. And we're at the Mossman House. For us, this is really a milestone project and certainly a home that reflects the absolute best of the architectural values that we're passionate about in an instance where they've been executed to a level that really reflects the best of what we can do. Coming to Mossman, we're challenged to try and understand the context of this place in a way that we can engage with it and design a new and relevant architecture. The Mossman bungalow, as it's often referred to, has beautiful clapboards and weatherboards and sandstone materials. We've tried to sort of extrapolate those materials and those textures and those patinas from those traditional forms and then recalibrate that into an architecture that is contemporary but it's still referencing the history of the past. Synergies between landscape and water and view and all those things that come with it was critically important and we think that what we've come up with is a home that is genuinely a family home. A very, very special place, I think, for them to form new memories and stories about their life here. In stark contrast to having a house where one has this huge entry structure and one gets into the building at the street and then it's kind of building, building, building the whole way through. This was a really conscious attempt to try and disengage with building. Will Dangar did an extraordinary job of building on the architectural themes to essentially create a series of terraces through the site. As you come down into the house and sort of into the sunken courtyard in the northeast corner, the house feels a little bit subservient to the landscape. And in the act of doing that, when one actually gets to the house, I guess that juxtaposition between the natural and the man-made is then ever more overt. And that sort of very stark change from gravels to these beautiful terrazzos, which are highly polished slabs, really starts to tell you a story about the house itself. The house is really just mediating between two quite dramatic senses of the landscape, the one more intimate suburban aspect and the other one a much more extroverted hero view of Taylor's Bay and the southeastern point of Mossman Peninsula. We were enormously lucky on this project where we were blessed to get a team that were very much of the same value system, County Constructions and Rob Hart and his team right from the design stage of the building we're on board. Delivering quality is something that you have to work very hard to do. It's not simple. That's what appeals to me about specialising in high-end residential construction. It's just every project, whether it's an alteration or addition or a new build like this, has all its own intricacies and challenges that you've got to overcome. When you have a concrete, basically superstructure, it's very unforgiving for your services and for your electrical cables and things. If you don't get them in exactly the right spot, I mean, absolutely millimetre perfect, there is no wriggle room in a structure like this. You can't go back and chase the concrete and move the light. It just doesn't work. So I think we had something like 160 plus architectural drawings that literally just detailed every screw, every nut, every bolt. There was a place for it and it was on Sean's drawings. The different textures of the concrete in the house, basically we've got what we call off-form concrete, which is a smooth concrete that's just simply poured. By far the biggest challenge in this job with the concrete was the board form to the ceilings and also particularly to the staircase. The process there is the same as off-form and then you come along and lay boards just like you would on a timber floor of a house. You wet them down to expand so there's no gaps in between the boards and then you pour the concrete over the top and 28 days later you strip the timber off and you hope that you get a perfect finish. It was one of those moments where you'd been up since 3am worrying about it and by 8 o'clock in the morning half the formwork was down and, uh, and the concrete was looking fantastic and you just had an unbelievable sense of relief and achievement. When it comes to materials, I think the modernist leanings of me have always taken me to the natural. And in a home like this, we're lucky enough to really be able to take that to the most extreme levels. 
then juxtaposed with that quite necessary, in my opinion, bit of glamour. Justine Hugh Jones, who did all the decor and a lot of the interior design with us, has done an extraordinary job of layering these, at times quite hard architectural spaces, with quite expressive, quite dramatic finishes that really stand out as almost objects of art within this otherwise very neutral palette. Elements like the staircase, which is in the middle of what is otherwise quite a deep plan, in this case is punctuated by a skylight over the top of the all-form concrete wall. And the theater of that light against the texture of those walls, for me, is very beautiful. And then as one transitions down into that stair, it would be hard to go past the wine cellar. And when one goes to that wine cellar as a backdrop to the living space downstairs, beautifully lit up with exquisite lighting and a lovely pendant over a beautiful big table. It's a lot of fun. The difference between a high-end house and a house that's super high-end like this is just the layers of finish and the layers of coordination that go into delivering a build with your designer, your landscape architect, and of course your architect people would come in and say, wow, this is an incredible fireplace, or wow, it's a beautiful floor. I come in and say, we had to put hydronic floor heating underneath, we had to pressure test it, we had to pour 75 mils of in situ terrato after we spaced out all of the brass strips to within a millimetre. I'll be driving down here in 30 years showing my grandchildren that I built this house because I'm just so proud of the process and the, and the outcome. At the end of the day, this is a milestone project. There's a lovely sort of connection of the narrative of what has been here for hundreds of years and what we have put here. And in the end, we really feel like we've designed something here that's going to endure all those romantic ideas about how it sort of sits into the landscape and becomes subservient to it, I think, is paying dividends. This is a house that people will recognise a lot of love, passion and attention to detail went into.